All right, suppose I have a function f of x that is infinitely differentiable. Then I can express this function as a sum of an infinite series centered about some point, and I'm going to call that point A. So the first term of the series is f of A plus the first derivative of the function f of A times x minus a plus the second derivative of f at a times x minus a squared divided by 2 factorial plus the third derivative of f at a times x minus a to the power of 3 over 3 factorial plus the fourth derivative of f at the point a times x minus a to the power of fourth divided by 4 factorial and so on ad uh, infinitum so to the nth derivative of f at a times x minus a to the power of n on n factorial and uh, it continues. And I can write this summation in shorthand. So the sigma from n is equal to 0 to infinity of f of n at a x minus a to the power of n on n factorial. This is what we call the Taylor series and it can be used to represent any infinitely differentiable function as a sum of an infinite series centered about the point a. Now if a is equal to 0 then the series representation of f is equal to the sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity of the nth derivative of f about the point 0 x to the power of n on n factorial. And this special case with x centered about 0 is called the Maclaurin series. So now let's use the Maclaurin series to represent the cosine of x as a sum of an infinite series. So f of x is equal to the cos of x and the first term in our Maclaurin series is f of 0 so cos of 0 is equal to 1. The second term of the Maclaurin series is the first derivative. So cos differentiates to negative sign. And this means the first derivative at the point 0 is sine of 0, which equals 0 next term is the second derivative. Sine differentiates the cos, so we get negative cos of x. And evaluated at the point 0, it is equal to negative 1. The third derivative is so cos differentiates to negative sign, so we're back to positive sign. Evaluated at the point 0, we have sine of 0 once again, which equals 0. The fourth derivative is cos of x once more. 
and this evaluated at 0 is equal to once again 1. So we have a bit of a pattern developing here. So we've got 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. The next term will be 0, the following term will be negative 1, and so on and so forth. So let's uh, plug it into our series. So our series is expressed as f of x is equal to f of 0 plus f dash 0 x on 1 factorial, which equals 1, plus f of the second derivative, 0 x to the power of 2 on 2 factorial, plus and uh, so on and so forth. So our first term is 1. Our second term is 0 times x on 1 factorial. Third term is negative 1 times x squared on 2 factorial plus 0 times x cubed on 3 factorial plus uh, 1 times x to the power of 4 on 4 factorial plus 0 times x to the power of 5th on 5 factorial plus negative 1 times x to the power of 6 on 6 factorial and so on ad infinitum. So you can see that each odd term has a 0 coefficient and each even term has either a 1 or a negative 1. So simplifying this series we can eliminate the odd powers and tidying up this line I will get 1 minus x squared on 2 factorial plus x to the power of 4 on 4 factorial minus x to the power of 6 on 6 factorial and so on and so forth. So this in summation notation can be expressed as the sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity. Now we have coefficients 1 and negative 1 alternating so we can express that as negative 1 to the power of n because for the zeroth term it's uh, negative 1 to the power of 0 which is equal to 1 as anything to the power of 0 is equal to um, 1. The x term, our dependent variable, we can write that as x to the power of 2n. Again for the first term um, when n equals 0 we've got x to the power of 0 and that becomes 1. And finally, we can divide by 2 times n factorial. And this is the Maclaurin series for the cosine of x. Here is a graph of the Maclaurin series approximation of the cosine of x. So the red line is the Maclaurin series. And the blue line is the actual plot of cos x. All right, so this uh, Maclaurin series is only up to the uh, sixth degree. So this red curve is a sixth degree polynomial. And as you can see, especially between uh, the interval 1, negative 1, and 1, it is a very, very accurate approximation. And it only really begins to deviate once we're out of the interval of two, negative 2 to 2. So we can see here even without summing the series to a higher degree we've only got up to the 6th degree here so uh, x to the power of 6. We could get even more accurate even if, if we choose a higher degree. We can very accurately represent the cosine of x 
about x equals 0. And next time when you use a calculator to calculate the cosine of x, just remember it is actually using a pre-programmed Taylor or Maclaurin polynomial to calculate the answer. So thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.